everyone, it's Dee from Turtle Dove. How's everyone doing? I'm really good. I'm here today. Um, I want to just carry on from my other video where I used the ink gold and applied it on some paper using my fingers. I want to show you just the other way that I made some flowers with and applying it, um, mixing the ink of gold with some water and then just dipping the paper into the, the water solution. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly, or well, hopefully it'll be quick, um, to show you how I do that. So I went ahead and just um, with my fingers painted the back of the flowers that I want to make. Um, so then I'm all nice and ready to do the front. And look, I made a bit of a mess with that, so you've got to be a little, little bit careful. This one's not so bad. That's the smaller flower. So I'll be dipping those two. That will be the front of the flower. And then I have these butterflies that I want to do also. And I painted them with my fingers using this beautiful turquoise. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I love this ink of gold. Don't know if you can see that shine. Don't think the camera does it justice. But anyway, I'll be doing those three butterflies as well. So I thought um, I would do the flowers in. This is Marsala or Marsala, and then the apricot. And the butterflies I'll be doing in the turquoise and the rose quartz, I think this is called. Yes, rose quartz, which is a beautiful pink. So, we might do the flowers first. So, I will get the ink of gold ready and I'll just put some of the colours um, down on here. Now, I could use a palette, but it's going to be a bit hard to dip the, um, the petals in. So, that's why I'm using this flat surface. You could use glass or whatever you have. Um, so I put plenty of the apricot down and then I'll also pick up clean the spatula and I'll pick up some of the marsala which is a beautiful plum colour there we go So I'll just clean this for the next time because it does dry quickly. Okay, so I'm going to spritz that with some water. Can get messy, so be careful. And then I'll just get a paintbrush and Mix that through. I've probably used a little bit much just for a couple of flowers, but I thought it's better doing that than having to remix all again. So all you all all I'm doing is just mixing this mixing the water through the paste um, and trying to get rid of any of those you know some lumpier bits just mixing it all through to make it nice and smooth and more watery normally when I do this I'll do a whole lot of them so you're not wasting any product I normally dip until there's nothing to, you can dip it in <laughs> so just keeping that nice and watery I mean the darker you want the pigment the less water you put in I guess if you put more in um, it'll become runnier and I guess diluted a little bit more but and if when you leave it the um, pearlescence in it tends to like you get blotches of solid color away from the, the pearlescence so or the metallic it's almost like the metallic bits in it settle um, and make some of the areas very solid without the metallics in it, if you know what I mean. I'm not explaining myself very well. But 
anyway that's nice and this does dry quickly even sitting there like that as well so I tend to have to stir it with the I'll keep the paintbrush handy and I'll just stir that around from time to time because things tend to settle um, but you do get that nice look I'll show you when things settle you get the more solid color over here without the pearlescence through or the metallic whereas some bits there where it's been freshly stirred through are still very metallic looking if you can understand that <laughs> so this one I dipped and this flower I did by hand just by using my fingers so it just depends on the look you want I to be honest I do like the dipped look better it's just a bit more messier and time consuming but as I said if you're doing a whole lot of them which I try and normally do if I'm doing something I like to do a few few things um, it's probably quicker in the long run and you've got to be careful with some of the colors they're a bit harder than the others and lumpier and you can splatter everything around a bit just trying to be really careful I think it's the paintbrush actually it's a different paintbrush I'm using so that one likes to flare out and splatter everywhere but see how it's already um, you're getting the solid pieces of color here away from the metallics so you do got to stir it unless you're looking for that look you've got to keep it well stirred and mixed there's a few more lumps in this one And this has made uh, some bubbles in the solution too, which I think is probably more the brush doing that. Just noticed that. So it's very therapeutic. Just don't rush. Just enjoy the process. Just bringing the edges back in because they're settling again. And of course it's settled on this side again too. So now, this is where tweezers might come in handy. And for the life of me, I cannot find my tweezers. I did have some right in front of me for a long, long time. And then I reorganised my desk and I don't know where I've, I've put them. So... <laughs> I'm going to have my, get my nails all dirty, but oh well. All the fun of crafting and art. So, okay, so I'm going to dip in... What should I do? You could probably even mix some as well if you wanted, but that could become quite a mess. So I'm going to dip it into the light. That's all you do. And as I said, you can make it watery if you like make it a lot more watery than that and then you just dip in the coloured solution it can become messy but I don't mind now see what happens um, it does mix when you double dip so you start getting that effect and there we go, there's that one. So I'll just put that down to dry over here. And there's a little bit there of my finger mark. I'll just cover that. Okay. Now we'll do the other flower. And I'm going to place it in some of these settled areas just to give it another different look. Dip on the other side, and then that's just almost solid all the way around. But you can squish it around and just play it, have a play around with it, and see what sort of different effects you can get. There we go. Might put a little bit more of the darker one on that side. You can just dip the tips in the dark as well if you wanted but that's that that will look a lot nicer when it dries 
So that's that one. Now I'm going to clean up and I'll come back and we'll do the butterflies. Okay, I've cleaned my surface and the brushes so I'm back and we'll do the butterflies next. So just have those ready there and I'm going to use the rose quartz and the turquoise. That's much product, it's hard. <laughs> I just want to get in there and use it all. Okay, so let's spritz those. I should put them in the middle actually. That's all right. Beautiful turquoise. See all that metallic goodness? And I could probably make, I'm just thinking now, to make some paper for journaling, different coloured pages. I could just use the smallest amount of this in a lot more water and just colour in some paper. Some finer paper. I wonder how that would turn out. See, it's opening a can of worms, isn't it? Because you're always ahead of yourself thinking of different projects that you could be doing and then it's finding the time to do everything that you want <laughs> do you find that i'm finding that with everything i make and i keep um watching uh, different channels there's so many talented people out there and then they give you more ideas and you think gosh i have all these ideas that are exploding in my head and i've just got no time to do half of what i want to do but it's a good thing and I always like um, watching projects watching channels and videos and then just putting my own little bit to it as well personalizing it myself you know, just changing something little um, yeah I think it's always fun okay I still I think I still used a, a bit too much um, paste there I'm getting carried away so let's do this oh look at that all oh, the metallic dancing around it looks gorgeous I'm sure there might be a better easier quicker way to do this but this is just what I'm doing. Really, I haven't worked a real lot with the Inca Gold. I've never used it before um, buying these, so it's all new to me. And I still haven't gotten around to watching a lot of videos yet on different ways of using it, so... That's probably good for now, because I've got so much that I want to do. If I start watching then I'll be wanting to do all, a lot of other things <laughs> okay so you want to try and get rid of all the you know you want the paste to be smooth because um, otherwise it's just going to sit on your project on your paper and once it's on you can't really mess around with it too much and look at this, see how it's just gone, all the metallic sort of settled underneath and the solid colours coming through on the top. 
don't roll whatever you do I've got white shorts on which is very very dangerous see that so that could be an effect too that you could just dip swirl it around a bit but yeah just do both at the same time They're, these colors are settling really quickly okay let's dip This one's a lot more watery. And I'll just dip the bottom. Now you could leave it like that, or you could double dip in the section. You can maybe let it dry for a bit and then dip again. Swirl it around. So there's one butterfly. Actually, I might dip some of that in the blue. Just the tip of the wings again. It's just a matter of playing around, really. So I think that looks pretty. So I'll leave that there to dry. And we'll do another one. So I'm going to dip the whole entire butterfly in the pink. Some of it's coming out purple now with the blue and pink. And the last one, I might dip the middle in the pink and then the outer wings in the blue. Oh, and I've just covered the entire pink. Oh, actually, that works well. Bending the the wings out. Look at that. That'll look a lot nicer once it dries. Just tap the excess off. And I guess you can use it as like you would just acrylic paints with a paintbrush and do what you like straight on it. So that'd be another way. So I'm going to let them dry. But that gives you an idea of what I've been doing anyway. Um, whether or not it's a good way of doing it, I don't know. I don't know what everyone else is doing. I'm going to definitely have to try and find out when I have some time. But... Anyway, I hope this was interesting for you. I just wanted to show you how I got this effect of this beautiful little flower over here. So thanks for watching, everyone. Look after yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.